Questions for Shane? Shane, how is uh, year two starting for you? And, and pick back off that, like, just you having one year here, how much better are you? Oh, a lot better. I think spring, getting adjusted to Coach D. Lou, Coach Side, working with them, you know, growing a lot. Got my weight up, so that's been big for me, you know, 285, 286 around there now, and just being better technique-wise and just getting smarter with the game and, of course, just getting adjusted to this level. But, you know, it's been great here with the new coaching staff, Coach Livingston, Coach D. Lou, Coach Sapp, just all those guys coming in, helping me out, helping me grow as a player. Shane, I remember talking to you last season when Coach Sapp just had, like, visited for a week, and you were so excited about getting to talk to him and getting to work with him. What has that now been like, being able to work with him in, in an official capacity? You know, it's it's crazy, right? Because it's like, this is a Warren Sapp, 99 Hall of Fame player. And it's just like, you see him every day, so it's like, it's just regular now, which is weird when you think about it, to be with someone at that capacity, that level, every day. But it's just so great to soak up the wisdom from him, to go up and watch tape with him, help him correct you on the field, off the field. So it's just, you can't complain. Like, it's, it's no better place to be. Compared to last year, what feels different about this defensive line? Energy. I say energy. I think we bring energy every day. We we help the team. Like, if we don't bring the energy, the team will be down. So that's on us. But, I mean, it's just it's just born in us, you know, whether it's guys like Mari coming back, Feek here, TC, me, Chidozi, anybody, Bitcoin. It's just we keep that energy every day. And just the love of the game and love for each other, I think, is the biggest thing with us. We really play as a family up front. Shane, how much did you consider going to the NFL? And what was that process like? Because you could have left, but you decided to come back. What was yeah. the reasoning for that? I did. You know, I thought about it for a long time long time, long while, but I think just like the way the season ended, I just knew I could be better. Like I knew I could be better and help this team out and go to places we want to go. I mean, Big 12 Championship, playoff bird, that's that's all in my head. That's all in my mind right now. That's what I want to do. That's where I want to go. That's why I came here. I want to come here and change things. So that's what I want to do. There's been a big question from, I would say, some people about, well, the continuity, right? You have 46 new transfers again this year. It was a completely new group last year. But it seems to me like you do have continuity with guys like yourself and Shador and leadership mm -hmm. on this team. How much are specific leaders taking it on themselves to get this thing acclimated maybe a little faster than last year? Oh, it was huge, right? I mean, like you said, like me, whether it be two, whether it be Levante Bentley, Jeremiah Brown, it's like, you know, last year we all come in. We're trying to figure out, obviously, we have leaders on the team, but... You know, many different personalities, many different people all trying to bond, trying to figure out. But now, you know, we've been here for a year. We know how it's run. We know how Coach Prime likes things. We know how Coach Simmons wants things. We know how Coach, Simmons, we know how Coach Schumer wants things run. So that's what we do. So we leave from the front. We make sure the other guys know when they come in, and we build it. So I think the summer, like, it couldn't have been any better for us, you know, just getting everybody together, making sure everybody knew what the standard was and holding everybody to it. You mentioned Amari McNeil earlier. I mean, he came on pretty strong at the end of last season. What was it like watching him kind of show that growth? And how do you guys play? What do you like playing alongside him? Like oh, it's great. It's great play with Mar. I mean, Mar's just so quick, so strong. Like, he's, he's got all the tools. So I just love with him, you know, talk to him, communicate with him, and just that versatility, playing with him and me being together on the field. You know, we can we can really do anything to tear it up. So, you know, I just love how Mar plays and love having him out there with me. Shane, at least last on paper, there's a lot more talent in your group than there was last year. And a lot, certainly more experience. How much better does that make you and does that make everybody? Because you all experienced this was last year. Mm hmm it's great, man. Like, it, it really is. And I think the biggest thing is playing together, playing as a family. I think the communication for us is outstanding, especially at the beginning of the camp where we are now and just to know where we'll be at the end of camp, I think that's the best thing. And I think just the versatility we all have and playing with each other, no matter which group we're in, mix up the guys, whether I'm playing with Chidozi, Big Quinn, Amari, TC, no matter who it is, just playing together, working with each other. And obviously, just being better and having that experience and knowledge of the game just makes us grow even faster. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.